He's a hot commodity. Are we having fun yet? All right, guys, let's talk about Brent Forbes, okay? I'm going to give you a report, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on Brent Forbes and this report. So here we go. So Brent Forbes expected to get interest from NBA contending teams. So this will be obviously teams that are playoff teams or potential final caliber teams, all right? So uh, this is from Shams from The Athletic. A player expected to procure interest from contending teams throughout the league, Spurs guard Brent Forbes. Um, and you can basically trust Shams because he's like modern day Woj almost. It's kind of weird how, how prominent he's gotten so quickly. Um, but with that being said, yes. So it looks like teams will be trying to reach out for our boy Bryn Forbes. Now, how do I feel about this? I can already tell you how you feel about this. You're happy with it. You want the Spurs to go ahead and try to trade Bryn Forbes. You don't think that he's worth much, but I'm going to say this, okay? I'm going to make an argument for Bryn Forbes because honestly, I think he gets so much hate and I'll be real. I, I love Bryn Forbes. I like really love him. Like I'm in love. I'm just kidding, but I, I do love Bryn Forbes. Um, currently he's making 4.5 mil. I think that this is a bargain for what you're getting from Bryn Forbes. I think he could have went, this is just me personally. I believe he could have went somewhere else and got a little bit more. Um, 4.5 is really good for a guy that's coming off of a championship. And as this article states, contending teams actually do want for him to come back to San Antonio was huge for us. Now, keep in mind that Bryn Forbes is a workhorse. Okay. He's a guy that you will love to have when it comes to working out, when it comes to practice, Popovich, how you get playing time with pop. People think that it's just on the court. Like, oh, how's he performing on the court? It's really what you're doing behind the scenes and how you can get into games when it comes to, you know, if the Spurs are going to play you. And Brent Forbes is a guy that's continuously putting in that work. And I think the only reason he looks bad at times this season is because the team is bad this season. I don't think it has anything to do with Brent Forbes being a bad player. Now, defensively, yes, he's going to have his limitations. He's a small guard. Like, wingspan is going to be small. He's not going to be able to contest like you would hope that, you know, a guard can be able to contest. But I'm going to tell you this right now. We have a team and we're set up pretty well. Well, well, you know, we have to make sure that we have players that can actually score consistently. But once we have that, even with like Joshua Primo, I think Brent Forbes will shine even more. And with that being said, I also want to add this on. When it comes to this guy, the reason why I want to keep him, and I know this is a this is a meme at this point on this channel, but it's because of game seven, man. The game seven against the Nuggets, he was the only one that showed up. It was something about him where I'm like, you know what? When it's all said and done, if we really, really need him, I believe he'll be able to step up. I believe he'll be able to come into that role and hit some huge shot for shots for us in huge games. And if you don't recall, around this time, people were shouting for him to be MIP. Like everyone was like, dude, he's the most improved player in the league. As far as Spurs fans were, but all of a sudden now, like we kind of lost all this love for him. And I understand, I get it. You know, defense isn't that great. But when you're having guys like Derek White, DeJounte Murray, Keldon Johnson, even Lonnie Walker playing well defensively, if you bring all these guys back and you continue to kind of build off of that and Josh Primo get into his rhythm, he can really come in huge for us. And it'll be some game down the line when we are a playoff team again, where he will hit these big shots. And one thing else I want to bring up Brent Forbes, and this might be the last thing I say about him. He's completely maximized his potential when it comes to players in the nba i think that that's often overlooked all the time players that maximize their potential Bryn forbes knows his size he knows his limitations when it comes to defense so what did he do he bulked up he got some muscle what else did he do he improved his shot he's like you know what I'm not the best at defending. I'm not the best at playmaking. Even when he came into that role, he didn't do bad. Um, I don't know if you guys recall when DeJounte Murray and Derek White was injured and Brent Forbes had to start as the point guard, and he did okay. But he knows that he's not that great at that. So what did he do? He improved his shooting, and then he improved his, his, his dribbling ability. He's gotten even better as a dribbler. There's a few times where he will break your ankles. So with that being said, man, I really want him to stick with this squad 
And I think that having guys like this is huge. You got to keep in mind that his mentor was Patty Mills. Patty Mills vouched for him like crazy, okay? So you have to go ahead and keep these things in mind when you're talking about Bryn Forbes. I just don't believe that we'll get enough for him if another team wanted to trade for him. We will get a diluted product. So with that being said, you have to love guys that can maximize their potential as a player. And I really do believe that he is such a workhorse that he has genuinely maximized his potential. One of the things that people always got on to guys like Dwight Howard for was that he didn't maximize his potential, no matter how good he was as a player. Even Andrew Wiggins, people say the same thing when it comes to Andrew Wiggins, that, you know, did he maximize his potential as a player? So when you have guys that that do this you have to at least be willing to work with them and work around that so that's my thoughts on it that's how i feel about brent forbes i love him um i hope that you guys can at least chill just a little bit okay i know that it's exciting to think that you can get something out of it but I i'm okay with brent forbes staying. i kind of want him to sign back so i you guys let me know what you think um you could support the channel only two dollars a month if you want to support the channel okay yeah watching does does a lot too so i'll give it you guys later man until next time deuces